Hey everybody. Hey. Well, is there anybody there? Is there anybody there? Behind us, maybe? Yeah, right. <clears throat> At least that's what it felt like earlier. <laughs> so, we're recording this so that way if, if everyone's all tucked away and sleeping, you guys can watch this later. But, uh, so, we've been to, what, the basement? We've been up to the second floor. Mm -hmm. um, and the main floor here. And the main floor here. <laughs> Um, <coughs> at the Gold Field Hotel, for those of you that didn't see Oh, yes, uh, yes, we are at, the, we at earlier. <laughs> the Gold Field Hotel. Um, unfortunately, we can't take you around with us in the building. It's just, um, it's too dense, it's too, you know, the signal can't get through. Um, so we have to run over here to a window where we kind of have our little Operation HQ set up and, uh, and try and do it from, from over here. So, yeah, we're in the corner by a window <laughs> where we get some reception. Sorry, I didn't block out that light for you there. There you go. Um, what was I going to say? <clears throat> so, feelings so far. Um, first floor, this main floor here. Let's get that open. Here, let's actually turn around. <clears throat> there you go. There. Yeah, so the main floor here, if you go back this hallway where I just thought I heard a noise come from. Past 109, past Elizabeth's room. Yeah, it's a very, you get to the end of the hallway and it's really, really heavy. Um, right now I have an X cam sitting back there with the uh, mail meter and um, REM, pod. REM pod sitting back there. So hopefully it's, we'll catch something on that. In that regards, that part of the um, <clears throat> hotel's changed um, in kind of feeling and, and uh, tone. So Elizabeth's room, they're actually converting into a um, uh, office. office, manager's office. Um, so that, that has a completely <coughs> different vibe and feel to it. But further down the hall, um, even Jerry was saying that, uh, you know, she'll pick up some weird vibes or a lot of people comment about that. And um, did she say there was a lady that lived in here one time, had like a, mm -hmm. a spot over here and she would not go down that hallway and she ended up having to move out because of that hallway? Yeah. Yeah. She lived in the 80s. <coughs> she wrote a book, Susan something. Um, but yeah, she had to move her suite from this side of the hotel onto the other side of the hotel because um, she just didn't like what was going on down that hallway. Um, I don't think we got to mention the first time only because uh, I think we lost signal or our battery died or something. But um, when we did the walkthrough today, it, this, the hotel had a different fe feeling to it. You know, it felt like it was alive. It felt like it was, you know, a living thing that people were, were renovating and stuff. And um, tonight, man, it just changed um the vibes changed i mean it's so heavy it's so um we went up to the second floor and i think it kind of caught us off guard how <coughs> heavy um this place really is um compared so, to the, you get the top of the stairs you had trouble getting up the top stair oh froze i just stopped once i got to the top and it was just like froze second it was unreal second came up to the yeah top top of the stairs Froze, totally changed. It just felt like there was something in every damn room in that in that second floor. But it had the feeling like you're walking down the hallway and it's like something was behind you. And if you would turn around and look, it's like it would duck into a room real fast. And uh, you just had that constant feeling of being watched. Yeah, it was. It, it took a lot just to kind of honestly make it down those hallways and check the rooms and kind of do that. We didn't get any kind of K2 two hits or anything like that. Um, so now that we've kind of... <clears throat> sussed out the areas and figured out what the hot spots are for us. Um, we're going to go back in with EVP equipment, with recorders, um, more cameras, and just really hit it harder. And the basement was, the basement was interesting. Oh, we had a really <coughs> kind of cool uh, interaction down in the basement where, um, and we videotaped it for everybody so we can watch it later. Um, but it was kind of cool. We were actually almost interacting with uh, a spirit. Um, that was talking to us through the K2, which I know some people. But uh, when you see the footage, it's kind of it's kind of crazy. Um, it was leading us around. We literally were asking it, "Oh, hey, David." Uh, was literally, literally literally leading us in directions. We would just ask it which way you wanted to go, and it would hit the K2, and and we'd follow it. Um, but they do have they do have the lights on in the basement. Um, they're not able to turn them off right now. And the only time the K2 would hit is if we were in a dark room. 
Yeah, which is weird. And the K2 wouldn't go off with the fluorescent lights or any of the power sources. So that was consistent. We were keeping an eye on that. But uh, yeah, the second we were kind of going in the back where the shower rooms and the massage rooms were, um, that's when we started getting all the, the K2 hits and uh, getting the interactions and stuff. So it was kind of cool. But uh, again, you know, Kevin caught it all in video. So once, once we get back to LA, we'll be able to cut it together and, um, and show you guys. Um, but I think we're going to sign off for the moment um, and go check out the basement again, or actually go hit down the uh, end of the hallway on the first floor <laughs> um, and see how that goes. Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in. Good to see you, David. Hopefully we'll see you back in LA. Um, and so that's about it. Hopefully we'll make it to the next uh, live, live, <laughs> bro live broadcast or we'll freeze to death, one of the two. All right, cheers. Talk to you guys soon. Later. Bye.